going to demonstrate how to do the magic knot. And I'm doing this video because I have another video out called Three Options for Joining a New Ball of Yarn. And I'll give you a link to that if you click the little I in the upper right hand corner. And I put that video out and I got a lot of feedback from people saying, you forgot magic knot. And I did forget magic knot. So I'm going to add it now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this. And then um, after that, we will talk about ways it's good to use this and ways it maybe is not so great. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the completed magic knot. It is, I'm, uh, you don't have to join two different colors of yarn, obviously. It's probably best to join the same color of yarn, but you end up with a knot that is small and not going anywhere. It's very secure. Okay, let me show you how to work it. I'm gonna use the same two colors of yarn and we're going to pretend that, you know, let's say this is my old ball of yarn and this is my new ball of yarn. So just to make things as clear as possible because there is a definite order to the way that you have to do this for it to be strong and, and work, line things up like this and then take this one, the top one, and put it down over the bottom one like that and take the bottom one and pull it under the top one. Okay, see what we got there? Now I'm going to um, tie a knot here and a knot here, but I've set myself up so that I tie it the right direction. I'm going to flip this um, around and tie a knot here. And, the, and what I did here is I have the yarn going over just flip it under and, and uh, tie a single knot like that. And this one's under. I'm just going to tie a single knot there. Tighten it up a little bit. This is where the magic happens. This is the magic part of it, I think. You pull on the two ends and boom, you have a knot that's not going anywhere. And the really beautiful thing about this is that now you can cut these ends really super short, like really, really short. Like on the knot that um, I showed you on my finished one, I did that, I cut it short and then I even trimmed it down to make sure it looked as good as possible. And that is so secure. So the technique is pretty easy, as long as you get yourself set up with things so you know you're doing things the right way. Now, uh, the way that this would be good is if you are, let's say, knitting a baby blanket and you need to attach a new color of yarn and the baby blanket has some pattern to it. This is an excellent way to secure a new ball of yarn if you're knitting something, especially if it's machine washable and you're giving this away as a baby shower gift and you want the new parents to be able to wash and, and machine dry it. This is a pretty good option. Um, it's secure. It's uh, only slightly disruptive to the work on something like um, a baby blanket. The times that you probably don't want to use this are if you're knitting a sweater and let's say, you know, the, the front of the sweater is mostly stockinette. Um, if you tie a little knot like this, there's, you, I think you kind of have a 50-50 chance if the knot is going to stay on the back of the work or if it's going to pop through to the front of the work. And if you have a, a sweater knit in beautiful yarn and there's a lot of stockinette, and then all of a sudden this little knot, as little as it is, if it pops through the front of the work, it will really be distracting on, on that fabric. Or really, not only stockinette, just any time you have something that is um, where you would notice a, a, a disruption even if it's little like this. So especially good for things that are machine washable, especially good for things that um, are not garments with a really distinct pattern where a tiny knot's going to mess it up. And even though I've done two colors of yarn here, it's not that easy to get, to, to do something like this when you're working stripes because you have to have the knot come in at the very exact beginning of the round or end of the row it's, it's better just to stick with this with a single color. Two colors made it easy for me to demonstrate though. Anyway, so I have added magic knot for as the, the fourth way to um, add a new ball of yarn. Hope that helps. Good luck.